global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. We just want to use this opportunity to thank those who have subscribed, like and share our video and we say may God bless you real good. All right, we are looking at the statement made by uh, Meiti Ala National Chairman Bodejo last weekend, which has triggered a lot of reactions from different quarters. And um, this particular statement, before now, they came out, and if you check our feed, you see um, his response. He said that it was actually a lie, but if you look at the Sun newspaper, you will see everything detailed. Plus, there, there was an interview, and those words that was published were actually said by him. But guess what? The high-profile Igbo social cultural organization, Hannes and Igbo, has decided also to respond. And according to them, they have declared that any Fulani hate men on or persons that decide to live in any forest in any part of Nigeria, especially in Igbo land, will be tagged unwanted and treated as such. This came in reaction to the statement allegedly accredited to the national president of Meiti Allah, Bello Abdullahi Bodejo, who had announced that his organization has concluded arrangement to flag off its own security outfit to be deployed across the country. The Fulani leader said that Nigeria belongs to the Fulanis and they will rule forever. However, the spokesperson of Ohanes and Dibo Chuks Ibebu in a telephone interview with on Monday noted that forests and bushes in Nigeria belongs to the people in the area, stating that nobody has a right to settle there without informing the people as the owners of the land. He therefore asked the Nigerian security agent to flush out all illegal occupiers of all forests and bushes in Nigeria and the owners be made to protect their land at all costs. Can an Ijo, according to him, he said, he said, can an Ijo or Yoruba man go to any bush in Kasina or Sokoto to occupy it and claim it as his own? It cannot happen. Let them come out and rent houses in the town as the world does not tolerate wandering by headsmen again. So the Meiti Allah National Chairman should stop inflaming the already inflamed society with his queer theory. Let him go back to the future Jalong Mountains and Guinea Highlands where they came from to rule there forever, not in Nigeria. Johannes, the spokesperson, regretted that such demented mindset has kept Nigeria stagnated over the years and Nigerians must say no to that. And that's the news. All right, we are looking at this. Quite interesting to... Um, say that uh, Ohanes Ndibo has responded. But at the same time, with all fairness, um, we all know who these guys are. I'm talking about the um, Fulani haters. We know who Meiti Allah are. These are not people who talk. You know, That's one of the challenges we have in especially in the south south virtually in all the geopolitical zones apart from the northeast we talk too much but then we cannot do anything right now he's not trying to tell us what we do not know i'm talking about bodejo before now he came out and debunked it that there's no such statement and all of that and the next thing i went checking as i was checking i saw on the news uh, sun newspaper it was clearly written it's more detail than the ones that you've heard more detail than that he said a lot of things and guess what none of those things that other newspapers have claimed that was not there. And those guys had an interview with him. He said all of that. Now, one of the things I know that is most noticeable about these guys are that they don't just flaunt words. They don't, they, they don't speak to impress people. They don't even speak to impress anybody. They don't roll out any um, plan and they sit back and they fail to you know, bring the plan to reality. When they speak out, guess what? they have already started the process. It's like, you know, those days when we were growing up, say, the, hey, do boy, before you go tell you, what is wrong with you? You know, already slapped you. He has already slapped you. Maybe he say, what is wrong with you? That's how these guys are. 
before they will even come out to make it public with their plan, they have already strategically positioned things to ensure that if nobody's try to stop them, it's a reality. So don't make boast of the fact that uh, they cannot enter any of the, this thing, Igbo land and all of that. Already, as we are talking, they had been from different quarters before now. I think from um, I think from um, December or so, there were different people in different communities in different states in Nigeria who came out and talked about the uh, cases of seeing helicopter dropping arms inside bushes, dropping food inside bushes. Now, for example, in Delta states, uh, to be precise. When it started, a lot of people said it was a lie. I think even the governor said that such thing does not exist. Even the military said such thing does not exist. But before we knew, their imprints were everywhere. You know, whenever they go to, they try to ensure that they break into any nearby community and cause some havoc. And that was what happened. Before we knew, in our Akpana, Akpana thing also, community, they went in and before uh, we would say who goes, they, they kill a lot of people to show you they are there. Guess what? As we are talking, they are in different bushes in the hall. Because when he was being interviewed, he opened up to that truth that uh, already they, they have taken over bushes in Nigeria. And guess what? That's true. Before you know, they emanate from that bush and cause mayhem and run back to those bushes. I, I saw something fairly recently uh, in a place like um, Côte d'Ivoire, where most of the uh, farmers are commercial, that's most, most of the commercial farmers, they made use of drone to see where animals are attacking their plants, you know, in large hectares of land. And they send the drone out and there they sit by watching and, you know, taking note of those environment. And then they go out to attack those animals or stop bandits from coming in and all of that. And guess what? I think at this point, if truly we are who we claim we are, we are, you know, a uh, uh, standing out that's the way we are not depending on them or we are not scared of them i think at this point those kind of facilities should be employed so that we get to know how far these guys have gone because we you can be talking i think in Igbo land safe most of the this i may not precisely mention the specific areas but fairly recently i saw when they invaded a forest it was a, a video they invaded a forest and by the time they went very far into the thick forest they were already hot belt by the fulani headsmen and those youths who invaded it had to burn it down and all of that. Now, that was at that point, I think that the local government chairman would have reported it to the state governor who would have taken drastic action against them to ensure that they are stopped. And if nothing is done, before you know, they come back again, build those places and begin to launch it. So for Meitiala uh, um, national chairman to say what he said, he is not kidding about it. And don't come and be telling us this is what you can do and all of that. I, I want to say I respect this guy, IPOP, IPOP leader, Mazinam Nikanu. You know, he was telling us he was working really hard. Most people say, hey, what is he doing? He's just running his mouth and all of that. Even some of those who were insiders there. Up, came up and a lot of them, there were some issues that fairly recently was happening and quarrel about financial misappropriation and all of that. Just before we knew, the federal government came up and they had to open up on how much trouble that, uh, uh, how much uh, trouble, yeah, that uh, Mazinam Kano has been putting on their head over the killing of Christians, especially in southern Kaduna and also in Taraba State, that he had used a reasonable amount of money to ensure he sustained the push to ensure something is done from United States, from UK, and even from uh, European Union. That is what we want to see, not people who keep on talking and talking. Hansen Debo has been there, and all what we know them to do is to keep on talking. Talking is not what will solve the problem. Getting up and putting up structures. If they say we are ready, that the first set of security headers or security Fulanis that will hit all the states are about 5,000 and their intention is to increase it to 100,000. My brothers and sisters, those guys are not joking. If we do not do anything about it, that is certainly what will happen. If you go through that son uh, interview with them, you will see cases of them um, suggesting that most of their own people should be made chairman of some area so that in event of things happening, which hands have been pointed at Fulanese, uh, it should those people should be the one they talk to who will now 
take uh, this thing, but those people must be recognized. A lot of things he said during that interview. So it's not an issue of just coming out to threaten them. It's not a threat. You, you don't threaten these guys. They are they have grown beyond trade. What they they value actions more than you know. They normally say that action is easier. I know, sorry, words so easy you can speak, but action is the reality. So right now is a case of waking up to the reality of time and seeing how we can also put structures on ground to see how these people can be stopped. If they have the boldness to even say during the interview, say things like that, who are they going to consult with that? They noticed that before Amote Kun came on board, that there was due consultation with the uh, State House of Assembly for them. Who are they going to consult with? They are in the bushes. So if they are, in, are they going to be talking to animal? They have the right over the bushes. They were the one that founded Nigeria. And they were also the ones that, uh, you know, they step, I think the first prime minister, according to him, was a full man and they have kept on ruling Nigeria. So Nigeria belongs and they will keep ruling Nigeria forever. Just to show you, man, these guys are ready for any showdown. And guess what? We need to wake up. Everyone just need to wake up. If nothing can be done um, from the federal level, I think ideally there should be um, community policing, which is independent from the police. They will be working with the state government and entering into the bushes. This issue of drone that I made mention of is not costly. Go get a drone, two, three security drone. Go get three, four, five, six, seven. Send it into those areas that we know. So because it's not just good to just be walking anyhow into those bushes. Send those drones out. By the time you send the drones out and you get to know exactly where they are located, go in with dogs if it is possible. Go in with dogs, you know, security, well-trained dogs who will hunt them down. Go through, go in with hunters because most of the hunt, most of these bushes, we have local hunters who are really in charge of it. You go in with them and see how these guys can be caught because guess what? They cannot be stopped by words. If, even if there is a, 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 an instruction that they are now like a T-E-R-R-O-R group, you understand? I don't want anybody to, you know, flag what I'm saying. They are T E R R O R group, and you now decide, you know, with that word, uh, you think that they will go. No way, they will still stay. In our own Anyanya, we have seen how these same guys were using weaponry uh, during their period of, you know, going around with their animals, raining their cows, and nobody could stop them. You understand? So, just to show you that this issue has gone beyond.